All right, so day two <laughs> with this crazy guy. It's Gigi. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we, we had a plan. We had a really good plan. We're going to go to Jaco Beach or Yaco Beach? Jaco. Jaco. See, eventually I'll understand Spanish pronunciations of different things. But first off, hang on. Sweet motorcycle gal. I like the Repsol. That's baller. What is it? Like a 125? I love cool motorcycles. Let's see. Here she goes. I want one. <laughs> I want the motorcycle, not the girl. I got the girl. Come on, Dad. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we were going to go to Hako Beach and we were going to fly there, paramotor and free fly. And then the weather, wow, this thing's just drifting on me today. The weather went terrible, so uh, we decided to go back to where we flew yesterday. Yeah. And maybe to Caldera, where it was raining yesterday. See, we were, we were thinking to go to Caldera so you can fly a new place and it's a soaring place. But my friend Jean Claude, that is the owner of the place, he called me to, today in the morning. He said that it's not viable. Ah. So we're gonna try again, Bebedero, that is the our fly site in the city. All right, hang on. I gotta ask. We just drove past something that smells absolutely incredible. What are they making here? This is like it smells like they're here. baking something delicious. It's like all the snacks and snacks. junk food. Uh -huh. Yes, we found the junk food capital of. <laughs> San Jose. <laughs> Amazing. Well, journey along with us, guys. Day two. I'm excited. Dad, are you excited? Oh, yeah. Really? Great to be able to drive you wherever you want to go. He's the best, like, Sherpa <laughs> ever. He really is. He's been a good Sherpa for us so far. <laughs> All right, guys. See you to the other side. This, my friends, if you can ignore my chubby cheeks, ah, is what a giant convergence looks like. You've got winds coming from the west, winds coming from the east, a mountain range in between, and uh, I don't know, man, look at those clouds. They're going straight up. Like, they're going straight up right now. That's pretty cool to watch, but we got to wait and see how it pans out. <laughs> that was an adventure. I landed in this paddock. You can see how steep it is, probably. And I ended up landing right up there at the crown of the hill. If I hadn't been able to stop, I finally got lift right there, of course. If I had been, not been able to stop, but I'd gone over. And there's nothing out there but power lines and houses. So this is the spot. I made the spot. Flew in some interesting conditions. It was actually really smooth. Zero thermals at all, which sucked. If I had some thermic lift, I probably could have stayed up, but uh, Gigi, Gigi is uh, still up. He was able to see a little higher than I was. He's flying a sea wing, and he's probably a better pilot than me. By probably, I mean definitely. He at least knows the sight way better than I do. And uh, yeah, I'm learning. That's the best thing about learning new things, like free flying for me, is you're always learning, and I love it. So I'm gonna make you stop looking at my crazy face. We'll have some clouds for a minute, and I'll get picked up, and maybe we'll fly again. See you guys in a bit. That is what happens when you step into the biggest mud hole ever trying to cross a stream. Oops. Here's Gigi. Okay, the priest. Going to Caldera. We're going to Caldera again to try it if we have some luck today. But it's a little bit cloudy, so what do we do in Costa Rica? Oremos, oremos, hermanos. 
Amen. Oh, <laughs> oh, the guys are making fun of my my drying my shoe drying situation because in the last flight I kind of might have walked through a giant creek. But it works, man. Look at those. They're just flopping around and drying out. It's great. Alright guys, we made it. <laughs> and as you can see, it's freaking beautiful out there today. <laughs> Look at the ships, you've got the islands. I'm about to go fly off this little hill right here and I am so freaking pumped. Enjoy! <laughs> That's a top landing, guys. I like top landings. That was a blast. <laughs> that was a blast. This is what flying is all about. We from up there, down there about a mile and a half, back and forth and back and forth, over and over again. Got to play, what a blast. All right, so many of you guys have heard me say before, it's loud. Many of you guys have heard me say before that I love paragliding because it's like magic. The one part that's not magical is that when the lift goes away, you can't just squeeze the throttle and go back up. So I have to hike back to a place where I can either be picked up or hike all the way back and hitchhike. This part sucks. <laughs> Hola, hola, hola. 